So we created our first projection using automatic projection. Now we can go to step number two, which is to modify them. So the next step is to sew them together so that we can have one single skin that applies to this object. Okay, so right now we have independent shells, right? So think of the shelves as parts of a shirt, for example. You have the sleeves, the front and the back of the shelf, and then you have the color. Each part of a shirt, for example, the sleeves, it's an independent shell. But when you sew the sleeves together to the body of the shirt, the front and the back, and the neck of the shirt onto the shirt, then you have one single skin, which is the shirt. So in that case, you will have one single shelf. Right now we have six. So let's start modifying these UVs. We're going to go to edges. So I'm going to right mouse button, go into edges. And notice that when I hover on my edges, right, two edges get selected. That is because these two edges are the same edge. If I select these edges, for example, and I go to my three-quarter view, you will notice that, as you can see, these are the edges that these two shells right here have in common. So, it is time to sew these two shells together. The way that we do that, we have to work on edges. If I select my edges, okay, you saw that I only clicked on one of the edges, the other one gets selected. Remember, it's the same edge. In the fourth group, if we consider this one group, this is another group right here, this is the third group, and this is our fourth group. These groups right here are divided into what they do. So for example, the first group, it has to do with moving big chunks of UVs using a lattice or moving a shell. So for example, if I select that, when I click on a shell, as soon as I click on it, the move tool shows up. The second group of tools are the brand new tools that you will find in Maya 2016. These tools are quite amazing. We will explore them on a further video. The third group of tools are the ones that would deal with flipping a shell or rotating a shell, clockwise and counterclockwise. The fourth group is what we're going to use to sew edges. So for example, if I go back to edges and I select this edges that these two shells have in common, as soon as I select them, I can use what's called the move and sew. I could sew them, but I want you to look at what happens when I just sew them. If I click on sew, right, the edges for these two shelves move to meet each other halfway. We don't want that because when we project UVs, specifically using the automatic, we get a really good projection with very little distortion. So I'm going to undo that. And the one that we always want to use, unless the two edges are right on top of each other, is what we call the move and sew. The move and sew is the fourth icon right here, right below textures. You will see it on the bottom right. Move and sew the selected edges. As soon as I do that, you will notice that one of the shelves will move to meet the other shelf and then sew the two edges. All right. Again, if I select this edge right here, both of the edges are selected. I'm going to click on move and sew and this shelf move to the right and it sew its edge to the adjacent shelf. So right now, if I go to shelves, remember we had six independent shelves. Now we have five because these two shelves are now one single shell. So again, right mouse button, go to edges. I'm going to look around for these edges right here. If I select this edge, this edge and this edge are the same. So again, if I do a move and sew, this is what I get. I'm going to move my shell by clicking on the button right here, right below polygons, move UV shell tool. I can move the shell. If you want to deselect these tools right here, hit Q for the selection tool and then the tool will be deselected. So now I'm gonna again use edges. Look what happens when I click on this edge right here and I'm gonna click move and sew. And now these four shelves have been sewn together. Now what we need to do is sew these edges right here. 
if I select this edge right here and I click on move and saw that edge will go to the bottom and if I click on this edge right here it will go to the top right here so select this edge move and saw and there you go we have the wood plank all sewn together so now if I click on the UV texture button notice that my textures wrap around the object whatever they meet for example right here but they will not wrap around this area right here so as you can see if I use select this object and isolate it by clicking on the isolate selected button right here remember is the only icon that is by itself notice that my checker doesn't match in this side right which will be this side right here if I select this edge for example okay the edge will be selected here if I hit F it will take you to that edge notice that now let me hide the UV pattern if I click on it if selected this single shell right here right so I can use the move shell tool right I can hit R for scale and I can scale it down and now it will be inside of our UV one to one coordinate now you will notice that when I have the UV editor was with my three-quarter window if I was to get out of this setup right here if I just hit the spacebar for the UV editor right my UVs will disappear my UV pattern that is because this works while you have the UV editor open so in my case what I like to do I like to assign my own UV texture and to see how we made the material please check out the video called UVs part 2 creating a basic UV texture shader it's in our Fullerton College Digital Arts under the Dark 104 playlist and now what I can do the easiest way of doing this is middle mouse dragging this newly created material onto that wood plank with the UVs and as soon as I let go if I hit 6 I'll be able to see my pattern right here alright I can close the hypershade and now I'm able to see if this texture is working or not if I go to the UV editor I'm gonna deselect this UV pattern right here right and this is how we assign a UV projection onto our wood plank and then we modify our UVs by sewing them together and creating one single skin for our wood plank so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna learn how to transfer the UVs and if they have any shaders assigned to them the materials from one object to another object using the mesh transfer attributes. So we will see you in the next video.